Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning, welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I have three stories for you this week, and I'm going to jump right in. US-based drone manufacturer Skydio has been making big headlines these past couple of weeks. First, they released the framework they used to write algorithmic code to the public. The framework is called SimForce, and it's what powers the Skydio 2 Plus and allows it to fly with greater autonomy. Now, it's not common for a company to release their secret code to the public, so why did Skydio make SimForce public? Well, they want to help accelerate innovation across robotics. Pretty cool. Uh, reminds me of how back in 2014, Elon Musk decided that with Tesla, they would release their patents to the public in this open source approach toward innovation in electric vehicles. And look how far we've come uh, since then. I love this approach. Now, we'll share the article below where Skydio goes into more detail on how SimForce works. Uh, fair warning, there's a lot of math that goes into it. Skydio also announced live streaming capabilities uh, from its drones to Axon Respond. This integration allows command staff and 911 dispatchers to combine live streaming from Axon body-worn and in-car cameras with the Skydio drone's aerial perspective, all within the same network. When this partnership formed last year, Skydio laid out a roadmap for how their drone technology would integrate with Axon's solutions. This live streaming integration is a nice milestone on that roadmap. Uh, as a company here at UAV Coach, we enjoy working uh, with both Skydio and Axon and uh, love what they're doing in the public safety industry with drones. Next up, rumors suggest that DJI is getting ready to launch its very first indoor drone, the Avata. Sounds like a Harry Potter spell that would make you an expert drone pilot. Avata! Uh, speculation is that it might come out as early as July or August. Based on leaks from Twitter accounts at Oceda LV and at Deals Drone, the Avada has two sensors that face down and a rear sensor that also faces down. What makes the Avada an indoor drone? It has protective coverings that run around the props. Uh, this indicates that it's made for flying in confined indoor areas where it might bump into things. Based on what we see in the leaked images, it looks like the Avada could be DJI's first step into making Cinewoops. Uh, this is a style of drone where the drone is super small, can fly safely and quite quickly through small spaces, uh, recording high quality video footage. And these fly through tours continue to be quite popular when it comes to promoting events and businesses. So DJI building a Cinewoop is an interesting choice. Uh, more to come on that in the coming weeks, I'm sure. On to our last story. Here in the US, drone delivery has rolled out slowly, one pilot program at a time. The company Wing launched the first one in Christiansburg, Virginia back in 2019, and several more uh, programs have followed since then, one at a time. But Walmart is about to change all this. In a recent announcement, the company shared plans to roll out drone delivery programs at 34 sites in six states an expansion that'll allow it to reach 4 million households. Wowza. Uh, the lucky states that will be a part of this drone delivery program are Arizona, Arkansas, Florida, Texas, Utah, and Virginia. Between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., uh, customers will be able to order from tens of thousands of eligible items for a delivery fee of just $3.99. Uh, customers can order items totaling up to 10 pounds and receive it in 30 minutes. So if it fits, it flies. Uh, if it fits and if it's of a certain weight, uh, it flies. This is a huge announcement. Drone Up and Walmart started testing deliveries in Arkansas last year. Uh, since then, they've seen a positive response uh, from those who have used the service. As a matter of fact, most people are using it for convenience. One of the top selling items at a current hub is Hamburger Helper. Uh, yum yum. This expansion is a great way to get more people familiar with drone use. A big congrats to Drone Up and to Walmart on pushing drone technology forward. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below in the description to read more. Thanks for watching. And to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.